All right, guys. Reese Field with Catch Circle here. Today, I'm going to give you guys the skinny on trapping weasel. All right. First, let's talk about location because location is important. So, anywhere we got old barns, old like rock walls, old fence lines, a lot of grassy areas, a lot of like brush piles or, or deadfall trees, areas where there's clumps of vegetation, <clears throat> and pretty much old places, honestly, it can be next to a road, it can be next to a river, which I'm both, as you can see, pretty much, it's anywhere where they can hide, because they're kind of sneaky little devils, and anywhere where their food source can be found. Now, what do they eat, you say? That's the second thing. They eat a lot of stuff, actually. They're kind of uh, kind of scary that way. They eat chicken eggs, chickens, uh, voles, mice, frogs, birds, and even rabbits, which weigh several times their own weight. They're fast, you know, they're sharp claws, and they can tear apart a lot of things. So, yeah, that's kind of about where to, where to trap and kind of what they go after. Uh, step three, how to trap them. I'm using this thing called a weasel box, okay? You can see <clears throat> it's just this box with a couple hinges, okay? So the lid can't be opened. This uh, nut on the back that allows the lid to swivel. These holes in the back that allow the smells to come out of the bait that I'm using. I got some 14 gauge wire running through there so it's anchored to this tree, as you can see. So the box is not gonna go anywhere. A coon can't take it away or whatever. Okay, you can kind of see how it's built. On the front, I got this hole. Right here, you can kind of see. I can focus that up. There you go. Okay, just a couple inches above the snow. And uh, this kind of creates a little bit of an appeal to them because they like little tight, narrow spaces to kind of crawl into and investigate. So when they see a hole, they just cannot put it down. They cannot walk by. They got to go in. But anyways, they're going to want to jump right on in there. Let me open the lid and show you what we got waiting for them inside. Okay, what we got waiting for them inside is this hefty rat trap. Now, these things are kind of sketched to set, but here we go. As you can see, I got my trap tag right there, copper, wrapped around the, the spring there. Got my DNR number on it. I also wrote it in pen in the wood on the side in case they want to get me. Okay, so the, the first thing that they're facing, their front paws are going to meet right there is that yellow pad, and they're going to get caught, and they're going to die. So this is a pretty lethal set for them in the back. I got a bit of a red squirrel just kind of chopped in half. He's frozen. Okay, they like fresh meat. They like pretty much anything with fur, blood, meat, guts, eyes, anything like that, they'll do. Also, it's... uh. Seven degrees out here. My hands are cold. I probably should finish this up pretty soon. I'm using a little bit of Lennon's Animal Lures Weasel Call just to kind of freshen it up a little bit here. Let me, uh, yeah, a sec. Okay. Mmm. Yum. That looks great. So, we're going to get a stick. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I'm going to get a stick. I'm going to get a big glob of this nastiness. Now, another thing about trapping weasels is don't worry about leaving footprints. Don't worry about touching the set. Weasels are used to living around farms and stuff like that, so they're not going to be too afraid of your smell. Okay. So now I got that glob right there, and I put it in the back on top of the squirrel. Just to kind of freshen it up. That's really about it. Guys, weasel trapping is pretty simple. It does not require a whole lot of work or a whole lot of money. Where I'm at, you don't have to check them every day. It's every four days, of course. Check your local requirements. And here we can trap them year-round in Wisconsin. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I thought I'd just kind of give you a quick run-through about how to trap weasel. 
And uh, I'll show you the success here in a few days if we get stuff. They'll lope on through every once in a while and just kind of check out their area. So, yeah, male or female, long-tailed, short-tailed, ermine, whatever, guys. If it's uh, brown or white, we'll take them. So, see y'all later.